try to make two points. Uh, I'm working with a group called Commitment to Community. You can find their information online, commitment, and the number two, community.org. Uh, for a number of years, we've been trying to track the investments that the city makes to help build community capacity, both residents and community organizations. Uh, we track things like the recreation stuff, some, some stuff around housing, um, community grants, uh, and the student nutrition program. So we're still looking at those spaces. Um, this year, we're shifting to really focus more on the uh, poverty reduction uh, strategy of the city because many of those pieces are being grouped within that. Um, just uh, my first point though at a high level in terms of the budget, if I had to use a few sound bites to describe it, uh, the ones that have occurred to me are don't worry, be happy. And the second one is talk is cheap and money is cheaper. So this year's budget is a big problem. And the reason it's a big problem is because of the optics of it. Um, and I think I agree with the panelists and Councillor Carroll that, that the solutions are not just about the city. It's every level of government. The problem we face is that every level of government is saying, we can't raise any more revenues because people don't want us to do that. So it's fine to say that the province and feds have to put in money to housing and transit and childcare, which is all very true. But those folks, as politicians, are hearing the same thing from their constituents don't raise my taxes. If we can't get out of that loop, every level of government doesn't have the capacity to make any of these solutions or move on more challenging things like climate change. So if we can't break out of that, we're stuck. And we're stuck in a place where um, community members who are facing worsening economic conditions are reasonably frustrated and upset with having to pay 10 cents more for transit or household, house owners who have fixed incomes are saying, I can't do the increase at inflation year after year after year. I can't do the stuff around water and garbage. So that, that those noises are what's being heard. So the challenge we have is, how do we get more resources from those that have more resources? We have to start talking to people about tax reform so that the people who have more resources and corporations and businesses are contributing more. If they're not, there's no way to get out of this, these loops. So. So that's, that's our challenge, and that's a people's discussion. And until it's coming from residents, until the level of anger and frustration or uh, challenge is being expressed to all levels of government, to all of their elected officials, the, the politicians are going to follow. They're not going to lead that discussion. That's our biggest challenge. The second point I want to make is around the poverty reduction plan with the city. The, the fact that the city is framing poverty reduction as a priority is really good. And it gives us a great uh, window and opportunity to profile how all of these pieces uh, around racialization, discrimination, uh, geographic distance, and all of these key services feed into uh, intensified uh, inequality in our city. We know that's the direction it's going in. If we want to reverse it, there's a whole bunch of things the city can do. Uh, they've grouped a lot of things into this bucket for this year, eliminating the fares for children under 12, uh, the housing uh, support services, recreation enhancements that were just commitments from last year. The two areas they've talked about are inflationary increases for the student nutrition program. That will not solve anything of what's needed in that program. There's no expansion in it. That's a problem. And uh, inflationary increase for community grants. And community grants are what support the social fabric of residents and organizations to actually mobilize together and make change in their communities. Woefully inadequate. So there's lots to push on in those areas, but again, as with all of these other areas, um, we can say it's inadequate, and I think people should, but we've got some other challenges to actually figure out how to get out of this box. Thank you.